Hey everyone, this is Mars. Uh, I wanted to drop another quick video. I just had a box arrive from the mailman. So I'm going to open that up in a minute. I've broken the seal. I haven't opened it up yet. Uh, I went to a comic show this uh, past weekend, Sunday, and picked up a few things. I only spent $25.00. So nothing too spectacular here. I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. Just looking for something to knock my socks off. Nothing did. So I just uh, bought a few books out of the uh, $2 bin for a friend of mine. Just uh, filling some holes. Shogun Warriors. This is a book I never bought as a kid. So I figured I'd pick a few up and try the title out. I'm always buying Jimmy Olsen's, trying to fill that up, and let's say just a couple of odds and ends. Nothing spectacular here. These are all two dollars a piece. I had to get that issue a spoof with the Blackula cover. Uh, I think I did pick up. Uh, I found some vintage paperbacks. These were three bucks a piece. So I was very happy to get these. I'll be uh, tearing into those later in the week. I love uh, the horror times and stuff in the 70s, you know. So uh, He had a bunch. The same seller had a bunch of Dark Shadows paperbacks, and I was tempted, but I didn't. I'm not the biggest Dark Shadows fan. It was a little bit before my time. I never saw it in the uh, first run. I caught the, you know, I would catch the reruns. But uh, I should have went back and picked some of those Dark Shadows paperbacks up. Maybe next time, if he's there, I'll get some. Okay, in the mail. Uh... This one, I can blame on the Comic Crypt of Castle Hills. Mike showed off his uh, Squatrant collection uh, a few weeks back, and that's another. It's a fanzine I've been wanting to collect forever. So I picked up an issue. This is issue three off eBay. This arrived the other day, so I'll be trying to collect those. And then this this magazine. The Creeps. You know, when I go into Barnes & Noble, I've been, you know, I pick it up and look through it, and I'm like, eh. The artwork is just so-so. But more and more, they're getting uh, some really good artists. So I found a, a guy on eBay. He had issues 2, 3, and 4. I got those all for like $11 shipped. So I bought those. I'll be tearing into those later in the week. So I may start actually buying this magazine. Okay, so let's get into this box and see what's in the box. I know what's in it. I don't know what it looks like. This is a box from Kuchin Bindery. Let's see here. If you can see it. there. Fantastic Monsters of the Films. This is one of the better famous monster knockoffs. This is from the 60s. It's a great magazine. This is the entire run here, bound in the custom volume. Custom bound volume. There's that. Let's see what else we have. Oh, yes. Monsters Unleashed. This is the entire run. Monsters Unleashed. All right, there's one more. One more book in here. Okay. 
There it is. Tales of the Zombie. This is the entire run. In a bound volume. These are my acquisitions of the week. I've got some good reading out of me this week. So that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Uh, later in the week, I will open up some of these bound volumes and take you through it so you can see the insights. Zombie. Monsters Unleashed. Fantastic monsters. So, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.